Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews you can see as this is a pixel days mod DC mod whatever it is Android version is 12 5th July 2022 is the security patch and kernel used here is 4.14.198 pixel Surya has, has been used here you can see no lot more information has been given here and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes and one seconds and one milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 163 and average is 154 and minimum is 132 million gfs and there is a throttling going on here and there you can see the peaks in the graph here it's throttled to 94 percent of its max performance which is okay in my opinion and starting with benchmark results the entry to benchmark results you get here massive 3,67,140 and temperature raise was just 1.3 degrees Celsius and battery drop during this testing was 2% which is cool enough and scores are also very good coming to Geekbench scores here you can see the app loading time also meanwhile and the scores are 532 single score and multi score is 1739 and the Linux 4.14.198 pixels area kernel has been used this are the benchmark results and camera application i have personally installed this arano build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports here wide angle everything is working fine no problem regarding that portrait mode everything is working fine even the whatever it is in the night set astro photography mode it's available if you want you can use any other gcam port like many are available for poco x3 slash nfc this is applicable for both the devices i always use the global firmware even it is an indian unit or even it is a nfc variant i will flash the global firmware it never faced me or whatever it is i have never faced any problems while flashing that firmware i hence recommend this particular firmware only you guys also follow the same and dialer you get this kind of basic dialer here even it's not a google app also you will get some of the haptic feedback here and direct video call feature is available call recording feature is also available it announces the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is now i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps even with mobile data connection also it's working fine carrier aggregation support is also available no problem regarding the network connectivity and even the earpiece quality is also fine enough in this particular ROM safety net status you get here pass you can use all the payment applications like phone pay paytm you know usb whatever you want to use you can use in this particular ROM and there are some pre-installed applications like bromat this is a browser you get here in this particular ROM and there is a gallery application also let me show you the DRM info you will get level 1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution I mean the high definition that's possible in this particular ROM you can see here very simple if you want you can use some of the apps as a default apps if you want to change the default apps from here and this is a quick settings panel it's very quick and very responsive in my opinion that's how it is and it's lighter than pixel experience ROM yes you, are, uh, you had the right thing and these are the power options and moving into settings actual settings you get these kind of settings here no more customization just simple room battery settings you get battery saver also extreme battery saver is also available and you can reduce the refresh rate to six years and when it is turned off you can remove after 90 percent those things are available optimization profiles for particular app you can choose from here battery life regarding the battery life it's very good you can see here i again charge it charging speeds are also very good even the 33 watt charging let me show you meanwhile you can see here it is showing charging rapidly hence you can use the 33 watt charger as a your main charger if you want very good battery life then you can try the 10 watt charger also it depends upon you and adaptive preferences the battery life is going to be very good in this particular room i can rate it top one for battery life even arrow is falls behind this in terms of battery life and charging speeds sounds and vibration you get all the basic settings here me sound enhancer is available headphone type and preset even the hi-fi audio system is also available and smart scene from MIUI is also implemented here clear speaker option is available some of the basic settings you can enable or disable from here media player is given vibration and haptic feedback is available you can customize them with the patterns these are the basic sound settings coming into display here also plenty of options are available automatic brightness sensor is also working fine i'll disable that unlock screen 
you get plenty of customization here ambient display is also working fine i recommend to disable that for notifications you can enable that it depends upon your usage dark theme it's there but it's not in pitch black condition icon manager is there night light live display and colors options are also given i kept to saturate to look a little bit vibrant in my video but you can keep whatever you need as it is and minimum maximum refresh rate is given refresh rate per app also you can choose and the additional display feature don't enable this if you want to play the high-end games graphics related games it will drain the battery it not even drain it will heat it don't enable this option just disable this additional display features keep in mind wallpaper sun style you get all the basic pixel launchers here this is a pixel os and they see mod they said what mod is available i really don't know if you know that comment down in the comment section guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also all of the bell notification pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like guys and moving further you get location settings everything is working fine google maps are also working fine privacy settings all and all features are available and coming to security you can see here you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the face unlock here it's very very quick and you get some noise here sound for that particular face unlock and even the fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see that wobbling effect also you can see on the screen that's how it is face unlock and fingerprint unlock is also working fine in my opinion these are the settings you get and moving into system and gestures swipe to screenshot these things are working fine in the one-handed mode as you can see that's not the problem here I'm moving into gestures and enable advanced restart button that's also available that's fine in my opinion system navigation gesture navigation and there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and radius that's another question here we don't even have the option to increase the length it should have been given and it's not visible simply i don't know why they skip in this particular roms these all the settings and everything is fine in this rom let's see the call of duty gameplay how it handle in this particular rom you can see here the call of duty gameplay here settings audio and graphics you can see here low to max settings are available in this particular rom as of now the gameplay is smooth let's check out many people watch my videos but only 10 percent of them will subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button guys and support me and people asking me about to install bgm it's not available in play store if i change the rom i need to install apps from play store but it's not available once it's available i'll definitely add it you guys know it this is maybe new mode Everything is covered with ice. No enemies around me at least right now if it was i don't know here which are the hot spots where enemies will land hope you guys help me regarding that add the hot spot place from next time i will drop my this guy to that place and see how it handles actually as of now i will come back and biggest 
thing about this rom is should we flash it and use it as a delete driver that's the question you guys have it i can say it's a very good rom if you want to use it as a daily driver go and use it and gaming is also very good in this particular rom uh, that is for call of duty i don't know about vgma it might be good the benchmark results are also good cp throttling you have seen and real time usage is also very good app opening times are also very good and ram management is also fine enough you can definitely try it out as a daily driver just i missed that pill length and pill visibility apart from that and the dark theme that is very important for me the pitch black condition that's also missing here apart from those two simple things you can definitely try it out as a daily driver We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.